I want to ask Mary Nussbaum about this next story because I know you're somewhat of an expert in Islam. But there is a school in Birmingham, England that um, has a policy that the girls who attend the school are not allowed to eat lunch until the boys, the students who are boys, have completed theirs. And that's a part of their dogma as Muslims. The first thing that comes to my mind is, why are these people even in Britain? But that's beside the point. All right, <laughs> I just want to throw this to you, uh, Barry, but let me very quickly read one or two sentences here. This is from the telegraph.co.uk. And the story is that Muslim school will not allow girls to eat lunch until after boys have finished. This is, uh, you may need to help me with pronunciation, but I think it's uh, Al-Hijra School in Birmingham. is still segregating boys and girls despite a court appeal ruling in 2017 that found it unlawful. Uh, it goes on to say that addressing the Women and Equality Select Committee, he said that Ofsted inspectors are trying to hold schools account for discriminating against girls, but feel isolated when their stance is not backed up by ministers. Okay, what are your thoughts? Well, two things. One, I'm shocked, literally shocked, put that in capital letters and in bold black print, that anybody is shocked by this story, either in Great Britain or outside Great Britain. This is an Islamic school, and in Islam, Ken, a woman is one third of a man. Of course she should eat after a man and she should do whatever the man tells her to do because she's not equal. To think otherwise is non-Islamic, is literally against the word of Allah. So why would you be surprised by this? I don't mean you personally, I mean it, the readers. From our Western point of view, it seems barbaric and it seems like something out of the Middle Ages, but. That's when the Quran was written, actually, in the ninth century, and it's never been allowed to be changed. In England, you've got two court systems. You've got the British courts, which are quite similar to ours in terms of rights and equality, and you can't discriminate on race, or you can't discriminate on sex, or you can't discriminate on religion. Everybody should be equal. And then you've got Sharia courts that are literally based word for word on the book written by the prophet, from the word of God, which are the exact opposite. And Britain allows Sharia courts. So you've got the guy running the school saying, hey, this is my religious right. Women are to be subjugated by men. Women are to be sold by men. Men can put them into marriage. Men can force them to have sex. Men can beat them. And on and on and on and on and on. Why? It says so in our book. Nobody should be shocked. Nobody. It's what they believe. But you'll notice the feminists, I call them fake feminists, don't seem to be too terribly bothered by this. And that raises a question. Number one is, why, why is it that Western Europeans, Great Britain, Germany, France, why are they opening their borders to this? Uh, it's not just a foreign ideology, but it's uh, the opposite of what they believe in many areas. It's divergent. Why are they opening this question? Number one is why are they opening their borders to these people knowing it, that there will be problems? And the second half of that question is why do these people want to go into a culture that is so divergent? What do you think, Barry? You know, I would throw a question at your question. Um, obviously, we're all familiar with the Women's March and you had all these uh, very strong feminists on the stage. Um, led by a Muslim woman who was proclaiming that Islam of all faiths protects women more than all others. And Muhammad and his writings prove the equality of women. That is a lie in 50 foot letters. And yet the rest of the women on the stage were hugging her as a sister, as if it were the truth. The problem is nobody reads their book. Everybody believes what they hear. And yet, when they do read the book, they go, oh, this must have been canceled, or I must have misinterpreted. It really can't be this bad. Something must have radicalized it. No, 
It's just the literal Quran. That's what they teach their followers to do. As to why the countries of Western Europe have gotten so ignorant as to take down barriers and invite in this chaos that's destroying their culture, their streets, their civility, their law and order, and forcing them to lock their kids up at night, I can't explain stupid. I really well, can't. Is it conceivably possible, Barry, that they're not ignorant? They know exactly what they're doing. That they want to destroy Western culture, and this is by intent and design. Is that possible? Well, yeah, but the people that are still in charge, you know, you look at the the president of um, Germany, um, the prime minister of England, um, they're not Islamic, they're Christian. Uh, so is Sweden, so is Norway, so is Denmark, and yet there's chaos in the streets. And my goodness, Paris in certain areas has no go zones where the cops and the firemen are scared to death to go after dark because they'll be attacked. And, and last time I checked, the head of France, the president of France, Macron, was Christian. Why? They're literally abandoning their country's culture to this I have no explanation.